Hello and welcome. Today we'll be taking an in-depth look at the Atoll Enforcer with Launching Capture Web and Mutant Squid, another remarkable piece in the basic figure collection of Kenner's 1995 Waterworld toy line. Welcome to the Atoll, your home for Waterworld fandom. On this channel, we take a close look at everything Waterworld in hopes of making new discoveries about this cult sci-fi adventure franchise. In this video, we will be studying the Atoll Enforcer action figure and the remarkable details that have been shaped into this toy. Let's start by taking a look at the original packaging with the plastic bubble filled out nicely with the figure and its accessories. On the back of the card, we are greeted with the familiar image of the entire Waterworld toy line, as well as specific directions on how to use the launching capture web. Having a look at the Atoll Enforcer out of the packaging, we can see all the beautiful detail that has been worked into the sculpt of this figure. Just look at the texturing on the outfit with its weathered and sea-worn surfaces on the vest and chaps, and even little details like the fringe, the neck bandana, and the double belt are all rendered with perfect care. In the film, many of the Atoller's clothes were made of actual fish skin influenced by Eskimo culture. Lead costume designer John Bloomfield recalls purchasing 20,000 fish skins from a man in Florida to create the huge number of costumes needed to dress the legions of extras that inhabited the Atoll. It also appears that the Atoll Enforcer's costume may have taken influence from medieval culture, another inspiration Bloomfield cites, claiming the Atoll is like a castle at sea. But what is an Atoll Enforcer? According to the FLIR Ultra Collecting Card, the Enforcer is the guardian of the Atoll Gate. Stern yet fair-minded, he arbitrates the execution of the law. The Enforcer that we meet in the film is the Law Keeper of Oasis, the name given to the Atoll in the novel adaptation, as well as New Oasis, which is the small band of rafts that the survivors of the original Atoll form after the Smoker attack. The novel describes the Atoll Enforcer as being, quote, broad-shouldered, burned brown muscular figure, vested in the typical Atoll patchwork, leather and canvas. This massive figure with the commanding voice needed no uniform. And the action figure counterpart takes up this persona in its miniature plastic form. The head sculpt of the Atoll Enforcer has a fantastic resemblance to the actor that played the Enforcer in the film, R.D. Call. And it may interest you to know that R.D. Call actually reprised the role of the Enforcer two years after the release of Waterworld in the PC game Waterworld, The Quest for Dryland. Waterworld, The Quest for Dryland, copying the success of other games like Star Wars Rebel Assault, initially started its life as an on-rail shooter. Some of this game's footage still exists, as seen here. However, after a year of work, the game was canned for being what the developers called an unplayable mess. Interplay, the company responsible for the game, started over again with a completely new style of game but still set within the Waterworld universe, this time utilizing a real-time strategy style of gameplay. In the released version of Waterworld, The Quest for Dryland, you play as the War Chief, the fearless leader of a band of Atoll warriors who attack and escape from enemies on the high seas. In between the missions in the game are actual live-action cutscenes that use props, sets, and even actors from the original film. Interestingly, John Fleck returns, but not to play the smoker's doctor, instead he takes the role of Gregor, seeing as Michael Jeter was unable to reprise the role. And of course, R.D. Call is present to give the War Chief a briefing on each of the next missions before you set out to battle the enemy. 
Let's now turn our attention to the main packed in weapon with this figure, the launching capture web. The weapon is handsomely crafted to fit within the Waterworld universe, sculpted with dents, rust, scrapes, and random parts. This is a backpack style weapon that attaches to the enforcer's body with two securing straps. The launchable net loads onto the catapult arm of the back of the backpack. As instructed in the packaging, you lean the enforcer forward and, by pressing the button at the bottom of the backpack, you fire the capture web. And when the net is not in use, it can be stored on the side of the backpack accessory. The launching capture web is a very appropriate weapon for the Waterworld universe, seeing as nets used for capturing are seen throughout the film. In fact, lead set dresser Nancy Hay bought 15,000 pounds of old style cotton netting, which nearly filled an entire shipping container, and which every bit was used to fill out the enormous atoll set. But I should note, however, that the launching capture web is in fact a retooling of the aerial net trap that came packaged with the Alan Grant action figure from the 1993 Jurassic Park Kenner toy line, one of my favorite action figures from my childhood. Also packed in with the Atoll Enforcer is this nice little machine pistol gun accessory. Like all the accessory weapons in the Waterworld toy line, the sculpt is clearly influenced by the props and concept art from the film. Like all these videos on the Waterworld basic figure line, I will conclude with a look at the packed in mutant sea life, in this case, the mutant squid. This is a creepy addition to the mutants with realistic beak, suction cups, and clasping tentacles. Though I might argue that this figure appears to be more redolent of an octopus rather than the titled squid, but just the same, truly mutatious. But where else can we find the mutant squid in the expanded Waterworld universe? Looking at the underwater levels of the Sega Genesis game, we can find the mutant squid, which will shoot ink at you if you get too close. Well, that wraps up my in-depth look at the Atoll Enforcer with Launching Capture Web and Mutant Squid. Be sure to check out the rest of the channel for other extensive Waterworld action figure reviews. And thanks, as always, for joining me at the Atoll.